capital city of the first wealth state of Madhya Pradesh. And the Andhra cuisine, Telangana cuisine also is prominent here. And of course, you have the new stand of the Islamic cuisine. So, we figure prominently on the food map of the country, but to bring experiences of other parts of the country, other parts of the world, make the local food experience also memorable for the customers here, the citizens here. The FNB industry has really played a very, very vital role here. And today I'm very glad that uh, three stalwarts of the local industry, we are honoring them, we are honoring uh, the founders of Nilo for I mean, I would say the current owners of Nilo for Cafe, Paradise, and uh, Pista House, which again is a great thing because uh, these are the people who have been persistently supporting Hyderabad, even when it was just a sleepy kind of a capital city of a small, of a, of a kind of <clears throat> non-mainstream province of the country. So since, let us say, five decades ago, six decades ago, they have been supporting the FNB industry. And today, all this transformation, all this change which has happened before us is something which, uh, whose foundation truly have been laid by such people. Glad that all the three have been recognized. I would add my congratulations once again to all of them. I'm very happy that uh, the Hyderabad chapter of NRAI has brought in lots of dynamism into this industry. And as we saw in the presentations, their uh, two initiatives, Mission Farm and Mission Khana, are again something which are extremely well aligned with the priorities of the government. Mission Calm is something which governments across the world are worried about because every government, whether it is our government here in Telangana, national government in Delhi or even the US president in, in the DC, everyone is concerned with where will the jobs come from because that is a very big responsibility of the government. And uh, for a sector to say that we will take responsibility for creating jobs, that too for job, that too jobs for a section which is otherwise quite vulnerable people from let us say the bottom of the pyramid kind of working class. If you are able to support them, provide decent work opportunities, skill them, show them a path which will be absolutely transformative, not just for them but for their families, but for the generations to come. That is something which is really remarkable. So I'm very happy that Mission Calm has made uh, some very strong impact in the last few months that it has started. Mission Khana personally appeals to me quite a lot since childhood for a variety of reasons I have picked up this uh, discipline of not wasting even a grain of rice on my plate. If you if I end a meal and if you see my plate, you will not find even a speck of grain there. Everything is eaten, whether I like it or not. So I find it very difficult when I order a South Indian thali. There will be so many things, but because I have this discipline that I can't waste anything, I have to somehow finish all 15 of them or 20 of them. So Mission Khana is particularly important for me because uh, again the same ethos of ensuring that every grain is given to the people who need it the most. And I'm uh, happy that that initiative also is making the uh, Good, uh, good impact, is creating good impact in the city. I would urge the industry to work uh, closely with the government. I'm happy today that a long pending demand of the industry, which is called getting all the approvals and clearances cleared in one stroke under a single window system, under our ease of doing business initiative, that is getting operated uh, today. And uh, I know that there are a few other pending issues also of the industry. For example, there is a major issue pertaining to signages, there is an issue pertaining to 24 by 7 uh, opening hours, extension of time for food delivery and all, all that. So, I am very confident that uh, looking at the way the industry is supporting the growth of the city, many of these genuine demands also will be considered in due course of time. I myself have taken an initiative to convene uh, other related departments to discuss about extension of opening hours, etc. I am very sure that uh, we will be able to share positive views and uh, good views in uh, that regard. But at the same time, I also want to urge upon the industry to look at uh, your responsibility very, very minutely. See, the reason why we get pushback about it is extension of opening offers, etc. Drug driving is one really very important phenomenon. Also, underage drinking and stuff like that. So, 
we need to also ensure that the responsibilities which are expected of us we take that very very diligently instead of someone policing you and keeping an eye on you all the time there is a lot of responsibility amongst the community the fraternity itself monitor and self regulate and uh, whoever is the black sheep to shape them to point them out maybe to even hand them over to the law enforcement agencies and so on and so forth so in this spirit of reciprocity i'm sure that much more reforms are possible in this sector and uh, hopefully telangana will be the hyderabad will be the pioneer in introducing these kind of reforms so i'm glad that the convention has gone off very well unfortunately i was not here to attend any of those sessions but i'll catch up with the local chapter to understand if there were any other important takeaways for us which were discussed in any of the earlier sections and i can guarantee you that we'll action it as quickly as we can so once again grateful that the event has progressed well if you feel that this city has offered a bigger value proposition than a delhi or a bombay then continue to bring this event the national conclave back to hyderabad as frequently as you can and uh, on behalf of the government we'll be very happy to extend all the required support for the success of this event thank you very much and have a wonderful day